All right, hello. So uh, I have been watching these, of course, like a lot of you guys, the uh, Tiny Cabin videos. And a while back, I saw one of these fans uh, that they had. And I thought, yeah, that looks cool. It's some gadget. You don't need any electricity or anything. It just takes the heat from a wood stove. I didn't think I really needed it. And so I had to find some excuse to buy it. But just up there, the last time I was up there, it got down to about negative one. And when it gets under like 10 degrees, it's amazing how even being in that small cabin up above, it gets all the heat it needs with my uh, stove that I have. But back where I'm sleeping, just on, on the floor even, um, it's definitely cold. So there's my excuse um, to getting this cool thing. So I looked, of course, went to Bass Pro Shop, 150 bucks, And I've seen more of these, and I'm sure they've been around a long time. Uh, but just couldn't find them. They seem like they're a lot more available today. And so, of course, I went online. I didn't go to Amazon. I went to this place called Tummerson and heard some reviews on it. And it was only 30 bucks instead of 100 or 150. And so, yeah, I know a lot of you guys already have these, um, but they are super cool. But I thought, you know, how about the cheap one? If the cheap one will work or not. So there it is. Um, here is the box. That's kind of what it looks like. If you're looking for it online, if it ends up being a good one. And um, obviously there shouldn't be too much to it, but a fan and looks just like the other ones. It's got a nice little handle to hold on to and you need to take it off. And so we'll go check it up on my stove. Maybe I'll put it on my uh, cast iron skillet and uh, see how quickly it works. It's really cold. It was out in the garage and um, see what you think. All right, so we're here in my kitchen. Um, by the way, if you have, I've had skillet, cast iron skillet for a long time, and they're amazing. And I love them, and I see that everybody uh, cooks with those on uh, the tiny cabin videos and camping videos, and they're they're great. They take a little while to get to the point where you have to scrape a whole lot, but man, when they do, you beat them up. You don't have to worry about scratching anything. They cook nice, they get hot nice. So we'll turn this baby on to high, kind of see how long it takes, and um, see if it actually works and gives some kind of heat. And while I'm waiting for that, um, you know, I'm new to all this whole thing. I've loved camping, I've loved as much as I can. We live a good five and a half hours, five hours away from the mountains, the Rocky Mountains, and um, don't get camping a whole lot, but I've got three boys and, a, and an older daughter. Love to go out there and love to go to the land. Love to go other places too. Um, then I just started putting videos on just so I could record some of the trips that we have for ourselves. And then um, kind of got into the tiny cabin thing so I can camp during the winter. And my summers are so busy I don't get a chance. And so I've um, been putting these on here. So I don't get a chance to go and put out videos every two weeks like some of these other guys get to. Mine are about probably once a month if I'm lucky. To get off enough to go down there and actually get something to work. This spring break, we're a couple weeks we're taking the whole family out there, and at least the three boys. My daughter gets to go uh, to Mexico. Long story, but um, <laughs> uh, the boys and me and my wife are gonna go up. So there's a lot of snow up there. We got a big storm coming in today. Big storm out there that's gonna dump a lot of snow. So we probably won't be able to get to the cabin like before. Uh, but there'll be a lot of snow. It'll be fun, and we've never really gone out there a whole week during March. March is usually a real snowy time for out there, so I hope to get stuck maybe in a storm or two and hopefully do a project or two and get another video out and just slowly uh, get those videos out. But I'll get them out, but not nearly as fast as some of these other people. And I like looking at some of the guys that are trying Murphy beds and, and uh, just different things like that that have been watching. So, oh... So that's been just two minutes and right then it just popped on so there it's going and uh yeah that thing was cold still cold but it is kicking on i put it on high and and it works let's see if it really gets cooking here i think it will it has a little motor in there some wires of course and I'd like to know how that doesn't just melt, but just a simple motor and heat. 
and yeah it's really starting to cruise this thing is nice to have this little handle and yeah I can feel it maybe it'll bump it over to the back of the tiny cabin so I'm not cold so it looks like it works we'll see how long it lasts but for 30 bucks instead of 150 got to be worth the price I imagine so hey please subscribe if you uh, just want to see a, a guy who uh, is camping and doing a tiny cabin with his family and doing what he can and um, sharing that with you guys and it's really cruising here I like it So yeah and hopefully I'll get a video out and uh, we'll have a fun time maybe some snow and some um, good memories alright we'll talk to you guys later see ya